What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is Kevin Physique and today I'll be showing you guys what a typical meal looks like for like I'd say a bodybuilder like myself or even like a bikini athlete or someone who's just generally trying to eat healthier meals and just don't know what to eat or how much. I'm gonna go over that today. We're preparing my uh, third meal of the day. I went to the gym this morning and did legs. However, I've already eaten my breakfast and I've had my post-workout meal. So now we're eating my meal three, four, five, ready for the rest of the day. And then meal six is just a shake. But uh, I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'll be putting in these meals and kind of like why. So right here I have a food skill and basically I will be weighing out all my food. Now I don't recommend you guys do this unless you're on a specific diet that requires you to measure out the macronutrients and the weight of your food, like if you're on competition prep or if you're just you know following a strict diet. Otherwise, I would just eyeball it because it's really not gonna make a big difference, but for me, it, it makes a big difference. So uh, what I have here is my plate, so it's set to zero. And uh, each meal, let's say uh, right now I'm having 200 grams of white rice with six ounces of chicken and 100 grams of vegetables. The vegetables that I prefer to use and that my coach wants me to use is asparagus. So this is 100 grams of asparagus and I have that in two meals. My last meal um, does not include asparagus, it's just chicken and rice. Let's say you're on a, like a normal diet and you're not really trying to like reach a certain goal, but let's say you want to incorporate healthier options into your diet. I would suggest, you know, three meals a day, breakfast, and then two meals that have to have um, some type of protein, carb, and vegetable, dietary fiber in it. So for guys, I would only recommend like four to six ounces of chicken, which is about the size of your palm, maybe a little bit more. For rice, I would say this is jasmine white rice, but I'm having 200 grams. I'd say for guys, maybe 150 grams. For girls, maybe like 100 to 120 grams, depending on what your goals are. Again, you guys can adjust the numbers, but for the most part, I'll be putting all this food together and showing you guys what it looks like when it's complete. I managed to cook some rice earlier today. It's hot, it's just 10 grams. So now we're gonna set it to zero again. Chicken, everything is pre-cooked. All my food is cooked kind of in bulk. And then when I go to eat it, I usually just take out how much I need and then I cook it. Now I weigh chicken out in ounces just cause I don't know if that's how it is on my meal plan. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave because I cooked my asparagus a little bit different. Two minutes. All right guys, so the food is heated up and now what I do with my asparagus, really simple like hack you guys are trying to save some time is this um, only takes like five minutes but you wrap the asparagus in a paper towel like this you microwave it for about two minutes one and a half to two minutes and it like steams the asparagus pretty good and then it's ready to eat all right so the asparagus is finished I'm gonna put it on the plate Perfect. So this is, let me put it over here for you guys. So this is a perfect meal example for anyone, you know, looking to see what, like let's say a bodybuilder or someone who's physically active, physically fit, should be eating consistently, you know, throughout the day. Now I wouldn't suggest these exact portion sizes, like I said before, for, for guys, four to six ounces of chicken, for girls, maybe three to four ounces of chicken, or any kind of meat, protein, fish, tofu, you name it, depending on your diet. Vegetables are great, 50 to 100 grams, I'd suggest for anyone and then rice that can fluctuate. And this is all relative to your goals. So obviously if you're trying to cut down, obviously you have a little bit less carbs, but still monitor your diet and your cardio accordingly so you get the best possible results. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food and then make the rest of my meals for today, which I'll show you guys in the next clip. One thing I did forget to mention is what I use uh, for flavoring and toppings on my food, as well as seasoning. The main things that I use are Himalayan pink salt. Here's my seasoning cabinet. I use this Kinder's seasoning a lot. I don't think I'm gonna use it right now. I also use this nutritional yeast seasoning a lot. I am gonna use this right now. I also have these liquid aminos, which is like a soy sauce, five calorie, barely. It's like alternative, super, super healthy, as well as sriracha, which is really good, but sometimes a little bit goes a long way. I'm actually gonna use a little bit today. And then I got one more thing that I wanted to show you guys which is, I, I like these, actually two more things, but I like these Bolt House Farm dressings. These are extremely good because they, uh, they're like, they have like a bunch of different flavors, like 20 different flavors, I believe. Here's one, here's, a, here's another flavor, which is Italian uh, seed vinaigrette. But uh, these, these dressings are like salad dressings, but they're really good on my uh, chicken. 
as you can see, it's 25 calories per serving. This one's 30 calories, but but when you look at most dressings, like salad dressings and toppings and things like that, most of them are 150 calories per serving, which is normally two tablespoons. These are 30 calories for two tablespoons. So huge difference there. Oh, I forgot to show you the uh, my last thing that I like to use, which is zero calories, um, mustard. Mustard is really good, especially on my my uh, steak meal, which will be my next meal that I have prepared right here. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and season my food, pound that shit, and then I'll catch up with you guys after. All right, guys, so it's a few hours later, and I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my food for the day, which I have um, prepared. Pretty much, um, pretty simple here. I have my next meal, which is ground beef, rice, and asparagus. And then my meal number five is just chicken and rice. And then my last meal for the day, which I don't really consider it a meal, but it's counted as a meal. Meal number six is just um, whey protein shake, isolated whey protein shake with one scoop of almond butter or pistachio butter. I have almond butter right now, but I'm next week I'm gonna start doing pistachio butter. That'll conclude my day as far as eating goes. It's 5.30, so I'll probably have my next meal at 6.30, and then in my final meal with the shake at 9.30, or 9, 9.30, uh, before I go to bed at like 10, 10.30. So with that being said, those are the meals that I'm eating currently. Pretty simple, nothing much to it. You know, it's uh, it's not it's not as bland and as boring as you guys may think. There are ways to make your food taste good. Um, right now, I'm about like 206, 207. My goal is to build, obviously, like I've said before, for about 10 weeks and then 10 weeks of cutting. But uh, I'll probably get like a cheat meal this week, which will most likely be a In-N-Out burger or sushi or something that has um, high calories. Nothing too processed, new, nothing too crazy, but something that has high calories that will uh, spike my metabolism. Um, so it's not like a horrible diet. I'm, I'm feeling really good, feeling great in the gym with all these calories um, being put to good use. But uh, with that being said, that'll conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and share if you guys find you know my information useful. Please subscribe as well. If you guys want to see more content in the future, I'll be documenting you know, different things um, that I think are important to share with you guys while I'm, I go through this prep. And I appreciate you guys uh, following me on my journey. So stay tuned for more. All right, peace.